Texas folks. This is a black pole that myself, my youngest daughter, and my wife uh, built out of Schedule 40 galvanized steel, uh, super thick wall thickness compared to the stuff that's commercially available. Uh, it's steel, it's not, a, it's not aluminum, uh, so it's going to be a lot stronger. In my opinion, the weak points are going to be the joints, but it's the weak points in any uh, anything that you ever put together, wherever it joins, is probably going to be where it breaks at. I don't see any signs or symptoms of anything but uh it does have me concerned because this is so heavy and that roof is so expensive if the damn thing comes down uh anyways uh it is a uh, two inch uh, galvanized steel going about five feet into the ground uh the next section is a 10 foot section of two inch galvanized steel and it reduces to one and a half inches uh, and 10 feet uh, all the rest of the way up so total above ground is about 24 25 feet uh, it's sitting in the in, in the ground, uh, about five feet going down. It's got uh, uh, I think 46 inches depth and uh, and one foot wide of concrete uh, going down, uh, holding that uh, that base in place. So it's uh, it's sturdy there, uh, and uh, seems to be taking a pretty good uh, wind here in uh, in Cattle Mills, Texas. So this is our barn dominium uh, that we're uh, we're trying to finish up landscaping and stuff on. Uh, I've been here for uh, for 11 years. Absolutely love it out here. Uh, just basically uh, uh, completely renovating the uh, the house, and this is uh, this is where we're at right now. Uh, to my uh, buddy John, who, uh, who works for me at work, who said that uh, this couldn't be done. Uh, suck it, John. Take care, guys.